ओके सो टॉपिक फॉर द डे इज पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी गाइज पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी इज अ फीचर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर दैट वी आर यूजिंग नॉर डेज एंड मैनी टाइम इंटरव्यूर आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन टू नेटवर्क इंजीनियर एज वेल इंटरव्यूर कैन आस्क यू टू एक्सप्लेन पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी वट इज द नीड ऑफ पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी वाई यू आर यूजिंग पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी वॉट आर द वायलेशन इन पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस two things first we will discuss theory part what is port security what are the violation and then we will discuss practically then i will show you how to configure port security on switches okay so first of all what is port security guys basically port security define the layer 2 security it is a layer 2 security at the access port you can configure port security only on access port you are not able to configure port security on trunk port right so you can configure on access port only right by limiting the number of mac address on a given port what is the meaning of this line by limiting the number of mac address on a given port means suppose i have one switch okay and there is some computer connected through this switch suppose the port id of this interface is 0/0 0/1 and 0/2 guys we can bundle the mac address of this computer to this interface with the help of port security suppose the mac address of this computer is 0a mac address of this computer is 0b and mac address of this computer is 0c suppose if a attacker will come and they will attach their own computer to this interface now attacker is connected to my internet to my network yes right they can harm in my network right so to prevent this we are using port security service now what port security will do we can bundle the mac address 0a i will allow only those computer whose mac address is 0a on this interface if i will bundle this mac address on this interface to 0/0 then only computer whose mac address is 0a are allowed to connect on this interface right so port security is used used for limiting the number of mac address on a given port or you can you can uh, configure you can bundle multiple mac address on a single uh, access port as well right you can you can bundle these three computer together on this interface right so this this computer this computer and this computer can connect on this interface but if any other computer apart from this three computer will connect on this interface this interface will goes down okay so actually port security is used port security is used to prevent unknown devices on the port so if a device is unknown whose mac address is unknown or switch don't know about the mac address of this computer whenever this computer will connect on this interface this interface will automatically goes down this is port security now next thing is violation right port security i think now it's clear to you what is port security port security is used to prevent unknown devices on the given port now next slide is violation guys violation is actually what to do if a switch will receive a traffic from unknown device right if switch will receive a traffic from unknown device that that mac address is not stored in table then what switch will do so this is that is violation that is violation right what to do if switch will receive a traffic from unknown device that's it or you can say violation tells the the switch what to do if the maximum number of secure mac address has been added or if you will add maximum number of secure mac address in the table then what switch will do right or what switch will do if if the port receive traffic from a mac address that is not present in table so whenever switch will receive a traffic on a interface on a port and that mac address is not present in mac table then what switch will do that is known as violation okay and there are three types of violation number 1 is shutdown number 2 is restrict and number 3 is protect guys shutdown is a default violation shutdown is a default the default is shutdown the port right so if you will not configure any violation by default violation is shutdown that means whenever switch will receive a traffic from a non device switch will 
shut down that port automatically right second violation is restriction guys restriction if you will configure restriction violation then if switch will receive a traffic from unknown device they will alert network administrator switch will alert network administrator they will send one message to network administrator that i am receiving a traffic from unknown device on this interface or on that interface and third one is protect so if you will configure violation as protect then then if switch will receive a uh, traffic from a non device switch will drop that traffic only right switch will not shut down the port switch will not alert network administrator switch will drop that traffic and whenever a switch will receive a traffic from non device right which are allow on that interface switch will accept that that traffic right so these are three violation this is theory part this is theory part i hope now you you are able to understand what is port security what is the need of port security as well right port security is used for layer 2 security as layer 2 security only okay now let me configure let me show you how to configure port security in on the switches right so to perform practical let me open packet tracer okay here i am going to perform this practical Okay, let me maximize it, guys. Port security is important topic, and if you like this video, please hit on like button, guys. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe this channel. Please click on bell icon as well if you want notification whenever I will upload next video. So suppose this is my switch, and suppose we have some computer. Suppose we have two computer. Okay, and let me connect this two computer together okay now let me configure ip address on this pc suppose the ip address of this pc is 10.0.0.1 and suppose the ip address of this pc is 10.0.0.2 right let me show you ip configuration command is ip config you can see the ip address is 10.2 fine let me ping 10.1 from here let me check connectivity ping 10.0.1 yes able to ping fine now guys i am going to configure port security on this switch so command is suppose i want to configure port security on fast ethernet 0/1 so first thing you need to do over here is go to interface fast ethernet 0/0 go to interface okay wait so go to configure terminal mode interface fast ethernet 0/1 if i will put switch port port security command f if i will hit enter then you can see command is rejected fast ethernet 0/1 is a dynamic port so first of all you need to run switch port mode access right now if you will run this command switch port port security command is accepted right now guys next command is switch port port security and if you will put question mark over question mark over here you will get this option so first is mac address so right so mac address mac address so whatever mac address you want to allow on this interface you can put that mac address here right or if you will put question mark you will get two option right this is manually you can put mac address of computer a or second option is st key so if you will put st key over here then it will dynamically take the mac address which switch learn on fast ethernet 0/1 so now switch is learn switch learn which mac address on fast ethernet 0/1 mac address of pc0 so i can put st key as well right or i can put mac address as well so let me put mac address so mac address of this computer is mac address of this computer is c over here this one right let me copy it 
copy and let me put it over here paste and command is completed enter after that switch port port security maximum port security maximum right maximum how many mac address you want to allow on this interface so by default only one mac address is allow on this interface but you can configure 1 to 132 as well right so i am going to configure maximum one only after that switch port port security violation so now you need to configure violation what switch ha switch should do when switch will receive traffic from any other device so we have three option by default is shut down so now let me configure shut down shut down right now if switch will receive any traffic from a non device this interface will goes down let me show you if i will change the mac address of this computer suppose i am going to change i am uh, 928 okay now mac address is changed now if i will you can see this port is goes down right this port is goes down you can verify it as well command to verify is very simple so port security you can see violation is shut down right how many violation count are there one right how many maximum mac address are allowed on this interface only one so so port security and address you can see this address is allowed on this interface only this address is only allowed on this interface so what happen if i will change the this the mac address of this computer again or i will uh, connect my actual computer over here again right now mac address is 9 and the same mac address are allowed on this interface you can see right but uh, still my port is down uh, still my port is down now if i will ping 10.2 from here ping 10.0.0.2 communication will not happen right so what you need to do over here is now you need to shut down this interface administratively and then you need to run no shutdown command again then this port will come up so go to interface interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 if you will put no shutdown command it will not work you can see change the state to down right change the state to down you can see port is uh, still down so when this command will work first you need to shut down this port and then you need to run no shutdown command now port is up change the state to up now it's fine so guys this is how you can configure port security or you can configure any other violation as well suppose i want to configure uh, protect violation right so command is very simple switch port port security violation after that protect okay or if you want to configure restrict so you can put restrict over here as well okay so this is how you can configure port security so port security is very important topic you have to keep in mind what is port security if you are preparing for network engineer interview okay or even you are a network engineer you are working in it industry in core networking company then anytime administrator can can ask to you to configure port security in their network okay so that's all for today guys bye bye thanks for watching if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel as well okay bye bye that's all for today thank you thanks for watching